Come on. Don't do it. <laughs> hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Hanging out with the new Texas 16 is what I like to call them. The first animals here on this farm. I got a lot to tell you about them. Uh, they need a lot of love and they need a lot of attention and we're going to do it now. So let me tell you about that. Here's the deal on this, these bison, these 16. There's some of them that look kind of rough and um, that need some attention for sure. And uh, we're going to give them that attention. What I did is Kevin and I, we cut out two bulls. Two, um, year, they look like two year old bulls. They're right here. We cut them out. And this cow right here, well, she's got a little red dog, a late red dog with her. So we cut them out. So we've got four right here away from the main herd. And uh, we're actually gonna take these two bulls, this cow and the calf over to the other property, the original, the OG property. And we're, uh, we're actually gonna run them through a squeeze chute because we don't have a squeeze chute here yet. We don't have a system ready yet. We do have these pins and whatnot, which are very awesome structurally sound pins but we're not ready to actually work bison. So we're going to take them over there. We're going to put the bulls with the other uh, yearling bulls uh, because these guys need some love. They need some feed and uh, they need some grass. So we're going to get them over there with them. We're going to get them away from the big bull, which is one of their big reasons uh, why they're like this is because the big bull has pushed them away from feed and hay and everything. And so this is the condition and I don't know what the previous owner has done. They need warmer, they need some vaccinations. This cow is in not in good condition either. She is thin, she's got a calf on her too. Uh, I can tell the calf by his composition, he's got kind of a belly on him, and which means that I don't know if he's been um, nursing a whole lot. So, um, yep, his mama, his mama's up there. So this cow, this bull here, and there's another bull up there. They're gonna go, let's see, there's mama with calf 41. She needs a lot of attention. So she needs some vaccinations and she's uh, she's gonna get some feed, feed as well. Sometimes you gotta supplement feed these animals to get them back on their feet and, and get healthy. Winter, winter is gonna be here soon and uh, they need to be healthy before it gets nasty. These animals can handle it. They're tough, right? These animals can handle uh, the weather and the temperatures and, and 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 the climate they can handle that they have for years but she needs some attention especially while she has a calf and uh, so we're going to take these three plus the red dog over to the other farm and get some uh, attention on them the rest of the herd is is in pretty de con decent condition we've got another cow over here that may have to go right here she's a little thin i just put out some safeguard cubes you've probably seen me do this before whenever we couldn't get big joe worked i did the same thing i had these safeguard cubes and what i started doing was i was putting out safeguard cubes for him because he couldn't get him worked right but we finally got him worked and we got his proper vaccinations which is what he needed the most and um so i'm going ahead and put these cubes out for them because we don't have a handling facility they just need some out warmer because I have no idea the last time they were warm. So anyways, we're going to take you along on that journey to get these three out. Kevin and I already separated them, or sorry, these four, including the little red dog. We're going to take you on that journey over to get them to uh, the uh, original property, the OG, right? This is how close you want it. <laughs> Not much of a gap. They can't get through there. Time to load out. Okay, I got them out of there. In here. That calf is sitting right in the lane where we need to go down on the other side of those trees and we go right there. This is gonna be where it's tight. They found the grass in that lane, so I've got two in there and the red dog. 
just need to get a push here on the back and uh, this feisty little bull to figure out, hey, there's good stuff over there. He's being cantankerous with me. But they're over there eating grass. It's gonna be a little tricky here. I still gotta cut some trees down. I did that a while back, but still got some cleaning up to do for uh, for sure good hot good bison handling system but this is where i want them got this gate shut i'll let them eat grass let them eat some grass i'm gonna push them they're gonna make the curve and there's our loadout Okay, last but not least, we got Red Dog. Let's switch places. Okay. All right. Let me let you by. Come on. Uh, Come on. Let me help you. We got him. Guys, if you're new to bison ranching, I wouldn't suggest doing that alone. I'm probably gonna get in trouble for this. Uh, if it was these adults, these bigger ones, especially with that older bull, who's a little feisty, not gonna do it. You've got some young, out of shape, two-year-old bulls a cow that is sick and needs a lot of attention and then you got like a two or three month old calf so i have a little bit of faith in myself to get it done um, and having this long trailer makes a big difference too and i already had a loadout system you can see they had an old head gate right here that they used here when this was just a cattle operation no squeeze chute, just a head gate. It shows you how much they actually worked them. Over there is an actual calf squeeze. It's an old calf squeeze. But we just used, <laughs> we, but I just used uh, this handling system for the first time with bison. I used the loadout for the first time and it actually worked pretty well. So I'm amazed. Um, they handled that okay. And uh, just have to be very careful. Let me, I just want to clear that up shouldn't do this stuff by yourself we got so we've been so busy over the weekend and i've had kevin out here with me working on getting this place prepared 
and uh, been busy at the other ranch uh, too and so um, we just didn't have time Kevin, Kevin was gonna help me load these animals but we just didn't get time and everybody's at work right now and <laughs> I have the luxury of doing this so um, but we got to get those animals taken care of and we got them loaded so we've got the sick sort of unhealthy cow in the very front which I got her first got the two bulls in the middle and I got the calf in the back that's completely perfect um, you know for a more even perfect scenario the calf would have gone with the cow but other than that the calf is safe the two bulls are safe and the sick cow in the front is good so we are going to take these to the other ranch and get these guys taken care of get them some more attention and uh so that's what we're doing thank you guys for following <laughs> let's go to the other place Okay, we're here. We're at the original ranch. As you guys know the iconic blue silos that we don't use. But we are here and uh, it's time to let these guys out. It'll be the calf first, then the two bulls, and then the mama cow. And what we'll do is we're going to leave them together because they've been together for a while now. I'm just going to let them in here together and we can sort them out later. a little far for me but are you nodded you guys are good Back together. Everybody's getting a little, a little crazy. Oh. Are you getting riled up? Hey, they're not a threat, I promise. They're not they're not gonna bother you. Look you look, you took the liner out of the deal. Well, we finally got these guys settled and um, I can't believe I did all that. Um, but anyways, uh, it all went pretty safe. It all went really well. 
and I can't complain. Uh, these animals have been handled some. They haven't been through a squeeze chute. That, this will be a challenge again, just like what we went through with Big Joe, Kit, and Flo. And uh, anyways, we, uh, we got our work cut out for us with these guys, but they just need some attention. I mean, they just need some feed. And sometimes you gotta supplement feed to get these animals going. Then you can let them back on grass. And that's what we'll do. They won't be here forever. Uh, but that cow and calf, that calf is still nursing on mama and that's important for the mama to be healthy to take care of the calf and so we're going to give her some attention some vaccinations and then we're going to get these bulls vaccinated as well and we're going to let them out there with the other bulls that are hanging out next to them so we had to bring them over here because you guys know we have our handling facility and um, we don't have it yet at the ranch at the other at the new ranch we don't have it set up yet that'll be a while so Anyways, uh, you guys let us know what you think uh, about this. And, and I've probably told you this before, the same thing with Lumpy. This is not a sanctuary. We don't go and rescue bison. I just had an opportunity to get uh, some to start with our new uh, ranch. And uh, just some of them needed some extra attention more than others. And that's just part of raising animals. And uh, you gotta put a little attention in, in other places that, that need it. So uh, these three, excuse me, excuse me, four, including our little red dog, need the attention. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the journey of uh, getting these animals at the ranch, um, getting them going, getting them taken care of, and uh, then moving some over to the original ranch uh, where it all started. So anyways, uh, just doing what we can to take care of these animals and uh, doing the best we can. Thank you guys for watching. Okay. All right. Uh, let me let you by. Don't do it. Kevin calls the uh, calf popcorn, by the way. He's got a little little popcorn belly on him, which uh, which more likely means he's not uh, nursing as much as he should or he's not getting much milk, which you can tell from mom. Um, but uh, I did have to mention that. You guys let me know what you think about the name popcorn. He's just a little fella. And uh, he may need some feet as well, but definitely gotta get mama taken care of. So. I think I stuck with a little bull named Popcorn.